It's been overwhelming emotionally. Yet Didya Freeman is living in a war zone. You know somebody who knows somebody who, who was killed. He's originally from Belmont, but has lived in Israel for the past 45 years. He was at synagogue when Israel came under attack Saturday. First reaction is, oh, that must, you know, it's it's a mistake or it's, it's just a practice or, you know, it's, but then we heard, we heard a boom. <laughs> And uh, it was the sound of um, a missile being uh, intercepted. Northeastern professor Jonathan Kaufman says the scale of this attack is shocking. This was really a huge terror attack that cost the Israelis, you know, I think close to a thousand lives now, plus all the people who have been kidnapped. Five of Jason Greenberg's family members are among the kidnapped. They're, they're true civilians. They're not combatants. They, they range from the ages of 12 to 80, um, and they have no military ties. And yet they're, they were literally, their house was lit on fire and they were smoked out and captured by Hamas. Freeman says in the midst of this carnage and uncertainty, he's seen how people are coming together. This is video he took at a donation center in Tel Aviv. And there's been a tremendous outpouring of people just wanting to do something. People are trying to do what they can here in Massachusetts. There's been rallies and donation centers set up all across the state, including one happening right now in Brookline.